on video conferencing. If I go there, they will torture me. So why should I go there? So it is like, yeah, so they have done that to the other Muslims. They have got this. I am telling what you want to question. They said, no, we cannot question you on the Why? On the phone, they cannot send it to On the video conference, they cannot send it to because it will come everywhere. If they don't like you, you want to question me. We have a life press conference. Anywhere in the world. Why you want me to come to India? What is technology? What is technology? That means they have got double motives. They said, no, no, we want to talk first. They show the double standard. Such a coward investigation. They have no guts. If they want, they can come here and talk. If you want face to face, they come out and talk. No? Come in the neutral ground. They are doing it for publicity. You know, they are doing it for publicity. publicity. See, today you write a book against any, like, uh, for Salman Rushdie, he wrote a book against the Prophet, for publicity. So, Indra, I have told when I read a little bit about the past, they filed a case against the UK government for some $4 trillion, you know, because when they left Malaysia, they gave the power to the Muslims and the Muslims then treating Hindus, <coughs> only for publicity. So, and they are basing the thing on media reports. No court will judge on media reports. They are taking media reports and saying all this. If that is the case, then the first person should be banned is Modi. Modi, according to media reports, has killed, killed thousands of Muslims. So, person who is killed and someone who is promoting terrorism, who is the bigger criminal? But you see on the website that he is shaking hands with Modi. In fact, it's a waste of time talking about Hindra. <coughs> Me talking about Hindra, it is degrading myself right, right. because they are not worth giving publicity. Yes, correct, correct, correct. Agree, agree. That's because you not done your case, yeah? yeah. I, no, I feel the local people here should sue against him. I feel, see, because I am not a Malaysian, correct? So the Malaysians should sue him. They should take him in a court of law. Why, what right do they have? He is telling the Mufti of Pearl is who you should call for Juma Salah. What does a Hindu have a right to tell to a Mufti in Malaysia, where in Malaysia Islam is a state religion? You should file a case, like not one case. There should be 100 cases against him. Yes. Uh, everyone should file individual case. Only Parkas are Ridwai. Is there only one Muslim in the whole of Malaysia? There should be other Muslim organization would file a case against him in the court of law. Let him run pillar to post. Who is he to tell us, Muslims, who should you call for Juma Khutbah? And you should sue him. He's shaking hand with Modi. Sue him. He's laying allegation. He's telling about the Quran. What he, you know, they are instigating. I could see reports when I came in 2012. They are writing on the website, make a file a case against Dr. Zakir Naik. Same thing they did last year, 2016. Are the Muslims of Malaysia sleeping? He's writing in the web. What is the police doing of Malaysia? Yeah. The police of Malaysia should, if it happens in any other country, they will arrest him. In the web, there were 71 cases filed against me. The police did not accept it, that's fine. But you should take a person to court who is instigating communal hatred. Yeah. What are the, what yeah. is the police of Malaysia doing? They should file a case. They should file a case against him. Openly in the website, social media, they are saying, everyone should go and file a case against Dr. Zai. In this country, where Islam is a state religion. So I feel that... Here, where only few few people really got up and spoke. I feel all the organizers should speak against him. He should never be allowed. His registration should be taken away. His registration as an NGO should be taken away. He should file a case in the court that he is, he is fanning communal hatred. I want to give a lecture similarity between Islam and Hinduism. He, there is an objection. Why? I am not giving a lecture differences. Indra is already unlawful organization. Their registration has been deregistered. Where? A long time ago. No, so you should be arrested. Then you should be arrested. Then you should be arrested. Good leaders corrupt. One person breaks up and gets another. And he makes another party. But he joined hands with the non Muslims, right? Both. Both. If you join hands with the non Muslims, what you are doing, you are doing a bigger problem. Tomorrow that non Muslim will come into power. Yes, if you find that there are two Muslims who are both doing wrong, choose the lesser evil.
mot de votre langue, c'est fortune à bord du niveau de la vie. Il fait beaucoup de livres de fighting, vous connaissez le niveau de votre langue. Donc, si vous avez un parti, vous avez un parti qui a plus de soutien de la nation. Une partie a peut-être 20% de soutien, une autre 5% de soutien. Soutien de la partie, vous avez 5%. Pas bien que 20%. Je vous remercie de votre soutien. Je vous remercie de votre soutien. I feel they are doing it. They are doing it for publicity. What? They are doing it for publicity. Publicity. Do you write a book against any like for Salman Rushdie? He wrote a book against the Prophet for publicity. So Indra, I have told when I read a little bit about the past, they filed a case against the UK government for some four trillion dollars. You know because when they left Malaysia. They gave the power to the Muslim and the Muslim then creating Jews. Only for publicity. So, and they are basing the thing on media reports. No court will judge on media reports. They are taking media reports and saying all this. If that is the case, then the first person should be banned is Modi. Modi, according to media reports, has killed. Killed thousands of Muslims. So, person who is killed and someone who is promoting terrorism, who is the bigger criminal? But you see on the website that he's shaking hands with Modi. In fact, it's a waste of time talking about Indra. <coughs> Me talking about Indra, I'm integrating myself because they are not worth giving publicity. Tonight we talk about banning Hafiz Saeed and Zakiu Rehman Lakwi and I say tonight we must because these people mix venom and religion to spread violence. They pay for the guns and the mercenaries and the suicide bombers. My intention is to let all the Hindus and Muslim brothers and sisters understand the correct concept in these two great religions. I am proud of my country, India. That's great. It is one of the few countries in the world which gives the right for the citizen of India to preach, propagate its religion and practice. I am proud of my country. And let the followers of these two great religions come together like what we have done today. Imagine, it's a historic event. Tens of thousands of people here. Bin Laden, he backs suicide bombing. He abuses all non-Muslim religions. He says the propagations of all religions other than Islam is essentially wrong. His words today inspire terrorist attacks all over the world. The ISIS module in Bangladesh was inspired by him. The man behind the London and Glasgow bombings was inspired by him. He should not backbite. He should not slander anyone. All these things promote universal brotherhood, not only in India, not only in the world, in the full universe. It is estimated that in the next, by 2020, India would be a superpower. If all the Hindus and Muslims, if we live together, if we love each other harmoniously, we may have our differences. The differences will be there. We live with our differences, but we love each other and we live peacefully and harmoniously. Again, India will be a superpower. Suicide bombing where innocent human beings are killed is totally private in Islam. The man who plotted the Al-Qaeda suicide bombings on the New York subway was inspired by him. We in India know all this. Our politician... Then Zaki Naik became an issue. So, there are a group of individuals attacking him and trying to pressure the government to send back Zaki Naik because he's wanted by Indian government. So, saya jawab, Saya kata, untuk nak bagi pe, penduduk tetap, hatta suaka politik, politik asylum, it is the right of the government of the day. <coughs> you see, whether the people uh, outside there, whatever people say, but if the government want to give, the government give. And I give an example, like Ayatollah Khomeini, who lead, who launched revolution in Iran. And he got the political asylum okay. in France. Dulu Malaysia pernah bagi soccer politics pada Parti Rakyat Brunei. Nama dia Zaini and few others. Australia bagi soccer politics. Then given PR status, is not a new thing. Ramai juga rakyat China, orang India pun dapat apa ni, dapat apa ni, kerayatan. Now I want to demand uh, uh, from uh, the government to read it. Uh, jumlah kerayatan mungkin ada guru from India 
There are guru from India who came every year to Batu Cave for Thai Pusat celebration. Mungkin ada yang, yang dapat. Kita tak buat isu. So, what's wrong is that? Then Zai Ibrahim jawab. Oh, Ayatollah and Khomeini is two different case. Ayatollah said, apa ni, never touch about religion. Whereas, Zaki uh, uh, touch about religion. That's why he he he's wanted. So what? Comparison of religion is a subject at the universities. Is it? Is a subject at the university, which you Western country are debating that every day. What's what's the problem? Oh no, and one more. Are you study Doctor Abdul Zaki terlibat dengan pengubahan haram, money laundering? Who say that? Ada accusation. Kita tak tahu betul atau tidak. But when we look at Zakir Naik punya speeches that be recorded by Peace TV, everywhere I can give you, I follow every night. Nothing that he said promoting about terrorism or extremism. So why? Because prejudice. So Zakir Naik kata Zakir punya case is different from Ayatollah Khamenei. Sebenarnya Ayatollah Khamenei is more serious than Zakir Naik. Jangan tengok sebelah mata. Jangan tengok. Termasuk Subramania, Minister of uh, Kesihatan also call for Zakir for expulsion. He is a cabinet minister. The decision was made by the Minister of Home Affairs. Collective. Sekarang dia tak setuju, dia letak jawatan lah. That mean ultra-virus. Ultra-virus. The decision of the rest of cabinet members. You see, so maknanya, uh, katalah kalau kita uh, uh, halang as what you say, per se, that's a different thing. Saya tengok, ada juga Nanti persatuan Kristian apa ni buat apa ni buat apa ni uh, majlis majlis di apa ni ceramah dekat gereja dan sebagainya. Even bulan puasa time dia invite Muslim for buka puasa kat PJ. So what? So be fair lah. Yang masalah dia orang ni, you nampak sebelah kita aja, you tak nampak sebelah dia orang. So let. Like, just... I don't think no human being does the right thing. But in Malaysia. Uh, Honorable Dr. Zakir, we have two big major parties, ruling party and opposition <coughs> party. Which two big parties collaborate with the party, non-Muslim party, who are all against Islam, who are all against Islam? Let me put for very straightforward. In the ruling party, we have MCA, Gerakan, and party. They're all against Islam. In Pakatan Harapan, opposition also the same. They have been a strong anti-Muslim, anti So, what now? We have one Islam party. Who before collaborated with this anti party who are anti Islam? Now they have been done. But the problem with this party, the leader are quite See, they are not exposed. They, I mean, they keep on talking and rhetoric, talk and talk and talk and talk. For example, in my state, they have ruled for 20 years. Nothing happened. They only talked. And finally, they have proof loggers to the Chinese type. Chinese, I mean, they have proof people uh, logging to the Chinese company. And they make money and they buy cars. They build houses. And I know this people. So it comes to the same thing. Two times, five, five times. So can I say this thing? We have to keep on praying and ask for Allah to give us a true Islamic party that can save the Muslim. A true leader. And for what I mean, everybody should join and support for us. Thank you. <laughs> it is an honor and a pleasure for me to be invited by the Chief Minister of Taranganu State. The glorious Quran is the last and final revelation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of Almighty God, which was revealed to the last and final messenger Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. 
Actually, I would like to convert in Islam. MashaAllah. Brother, for becoming a Muslim, you have to believe there is one God. Yeah. You have to believe idol worship is wrong. And now I got it. Thank I you. got it. And you also believe that Prophet Muhammad is a messenger of God? Yes, yes. Brother, is anyone forcing you to accept Islam? Nobody. Are you doing out of your own free will? Yes. Is anyone pressurizing you? No, nobody. Anyone giving you money? Nobody. It's me. Brother, I've said it in Arabic and you can repeat it. Okay. Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashadu. Rashidu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abduhu. Wa Rasuluhu. Wa Rasuluhu. I bear witness. I bear witness. That. that there is no God. There is no God. But Allah. But Allah. And I bear witness. And I bear witness. That. That. Prophet Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad. Is the messenger. Is the messenger. And servant of Allah. And servant of Allah.